Hi, I'm Duncan McCallum, CEO and co-founder of Silk Arts. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Silk Plus Plus solution. Our solution enables customers to rapidly migrate legacy applications onto multi-core processors and enables mainstream C++ developers who were not previously a customer trained to write in parallel programs or multi-threaded applications um, and empowers them, a technology that empowers those mainstream developers to rapidly multi-core enable applications. More specifically, there are three problems that customers are focused on. Development time, application performance, and software reliability. Let me tell you a little bit about the solution. So what is, what is Silk++? Silk++ is three keywords and a handful of type name definitions that extend C++ to the realm of parallel programming seamlessly and easily. Um, the process works as follows. This, the the Silk++ keywords, an annotation strategy. So you take a serial application, could be a newly written program, or more commonly, uh, what customers care about is a legacy application. Could be all of a program or just a portion of the program. You take that serial application, which is otherwise CPU bound and will only run on a single core, and you annotate it with the Silk++ keywords. So it's annotation, no restructuring. Now this is an important point. Uh, what do we mean by that? Any of the alternatives to Silk++ require dramatic restructuring of that serial application to break it into chunks before it can be made to run in parallel. That restructuring of an application is risky, time consuming, and very difficult to do um, for folks who are not parallel programming experts. All of that complexity is avoided with Silk++. With Silk++, you're just adding keywords. The serial application, the changes to serial application are otherwise minimal. The power of that strategy is that most of the development of a multi-threaded application remains in the serial domain. So existing programmers used to writing serial applications continue to use their existing serial program, serial programming methodologies and serial debuggers and serial regression tests. No restructuring the application. So big savings in development time. The annotated source file goes through the Silk++ compiler, which is an industry standard compiler with some things that we add. Uh, so all of the compiler specific optimizations that might exist in a legacy application remain unchanged. So it's an evolutionary strategy, it's not a rip and replace. It goes through the compiler, produces a binary which runs on the Silk Runtime libraries. And the Silk Runtime libraries are what deliver the performance. Uh, performance is best in class and scales linearly and dynamically with the number of cores, with overhead typically less than 2% on a single core. So what does that mean? Uh, a Silk++ application, so a multi-core enabled version of a legacy application, when run on multi-core processors, its performance will be excellent on current generation and will scale linearly up and down dynamically with no rewrite. So you never have to change an application once it's written. So big check mark on application performance. Now let's talk about the third problem, software reliability. Now you recall that the Silk++ application has serial semantics. What does that mean? It's the, if run on a single core, it will execute virtually identically to the serial application that you started with. As a result of that, A, it's difficult to introduce new serial bugs, but more importantly, the existing debug strategy and regression tests that customers have for that serial application remain unchanged. So you can be assured that in the migration to a parallel program or the world of multi-core, no new serial bugs have been introduced. Serial correctness is assured. The software reliability problem then reduces to parallel correctness, assuring that there are no data races in the application. For that, you use the Silk++ race detector. The Silk++ race detector is a regression test-oriented strategy, which says that given an input test vector, it will explore all potential schedules of an execution. And if any of the potential schedules for that execution differ from the serial original, it's a race. The race detector is guaranteed to find that race and will tell you which memory locations or variables and where in the lines of your source code, um, which, which lines created the race condition. So it will rapidly accelerate um, the testing for and removal of race conditions, thus assuring parallel correctness. Serial correctness plus parallel correctness 
you've got a multi-threaded version of your application, which is as reliable as the original. In addition, by factoring the problem of serial and parallel correctness, if you do have a bug in the field, you know, discovered by your customers or um, your end users if you're developing an in-house application, it's, quite, it's much quicker to resolve that bug because you can reduce the testing and bug tracking process starting with then separating out parallel problems from serial problems. Right? So typically, um, you know, there's an issue in the field, application comes back, you'd start with your existing serial regression test to ensure there are no serial bugs. So it's a quite powerful strategy for, for software reliability. So that's SOAP++. Uh, we hope you'll try it. And uh, happy multi-core programming.